Well, no trip to Ireland is complete without a visit to one of the stunning castles you'll find here. And this is one of the oldest. Malahide Castle dates back to the 12th century and remained in the same family for over 800 years. It sits on over 260 acres of beautiful manicured gardens just 20 minutes north of Dublin. It features over 5,000 different species of plants collected from around the world, including eucalyptus plants from Australia. Inside the castle, you'll find amazing ballrooms, sitting rooms and dining rooms. And this castle played a central role in medieval Irish history. And like all good castles here, it is rumoured to be haunted. There are six ghosts. The one who pops up the most is called Puck the Ghost. He was the family joker who'd entertain the Talbots in the dining room, but died of a broken heart. So single ladies, be careful. If you visit Malahide Castle, you might just get followed home by a broken-hearted ghost. Country town, a pub is at its heart. No more so here than at Canago. But unfortunately, a couple of years ago, a massive fire ravaged this once famous watering hole. And here we are, Osprey Reef, 300 kilometres northeast of Cairns, one of the purest places on earth. It is teeming with life. Osprey's extreme location and its protection from all forms of fishing have allowed its ecosystem to flourish. This could well be the healthiest reef anywhere around Australia, perhaps the planet. Gin clear water, coral of every shape and colour, this place is an aqua zoo. And we've got it all to ourselves, a massive isolation tank. Literally nothing for hundreds of miles. The shelf's uh, almost 100 miles back to the continental shelf. From Denny's flat, dusty plains emerges the winding, tranquil beauty of the Edward River. Teeming with wildlife and towering silver gums, its still waters are the lifeblood of this region. Frank, what a great playground the Edward River is. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, we, we ski, kayak, fish, we do everything here. It's, it's, it's a really good spot to go. And, and what's fishing like here at the moment? Is it good? It's fantastic. Uh, you get cod, uh, yellow belly, you get the occasional carp, but that's okay. And when the locals aren't luring in dinner, well, it's playtime. Perhaps one of the best things about visiting a place like Daniloquin is its history. Even today, glimpses of times long past echo throughout her streets. What better way to end our journey than watching the sun set over Daniloquin's endless red skies. Most of the dancers have been with me in previous tours. Uh, but yeah, we, we first go by a rundown. They've been nothing but delightful and delicious, you know. They're very smart and creative, yeah. They're, they're good. One time to check on how things were going in Tasmania with the Tasmanian Devil Project, visit one of our other conservation properties and then drive up here. But as you get older... <laughs> <laughs> not so easy. It's not so easy. A lot more fun and practice, but, <laughs> but it's not... Um, it's not easy, so this really surprised us. Yeah, well, it's actually our first um, off-site show, so we're pretty excited about it as well. It's quite the production. I guess the first front is really the vocal ability. I, I love the idea of, you know, the judges aren't looking. Very unique experience coming across something you wouldn't really intend to see in the area we found it. So 
That's a bit of a mystery at the moment. So these great white sharks usually are animals that would tend to be offshore a bit, uh, out in the deeper sort of more unrestricted waters. Uh, and this one, for whatever reason, found its way up into the beaches of Manly uh, and then into the surf zone where it sort of came into a bit of grief. And so that's where we were able to step in and sort of intervene.